Okay, uh, AutoCAD uh, automatically creates all the technical prints of my project. Uh, the prints are available from here. Uh, I can choose the prints that I want to visualize or save. Uh, for example, the plan, the front view. I want also to see the dimensions and I can change, I can choose my render from here. So uh, browse, um, here is the render that we have saved in the previous step and press uh, OK. OK again. Uh, from here, I can choose the, um, the orientation of my prints horizontal so this is the render uh, this is the plan with all the dimensions of uh, the elements uh, automatically inserted by AridoCAD and uh, I have a print for each uh, elevation view um, I also have uh, the layout of the top with the holes for the cooking hob and the uh, sink and the layout of the plinths and also uh, a print dedicated to uh, the elements that I have changed uh, when I change the dimension of one element I also have a print for that uh, I can export these prints in a PDF, a JPEG and so on let's choose a folder, destination folder, uh, we, we can call it a new folder, uh, prints. Let's give a name to the prints and press save. Export. Okay, now I press close, exit, and if I open the folder prints um, that that is here I can have all the JPG of my prints uh, okay let's go back in AridoCAD uh, AridoCAD automatically creates also the list of all the elements the furnitures that I have used for my project so I click on calculation of elements uh, I have to update the list OK. And here I have the description of all the articles, the, the quantities. I can also add uh, the price manually. And, uh, and so on. I could also insert the codes of the products. And here is a preview uh, of the quotation for my client with the description of the articles, the amount and the total amount here. Okay, let's save this list. Um, and uh, very important, uh, you have to save your project. So to save the project, you have to click here, save project. And uh, if I close a Redocad or I create another project and I want to open again this one, I click on file, new uh, open project, in this way I can enter in the archive of my projects okay and I can open again my project I have to select the project and press OK OK again OK that's all bye